Oh god, I don't know what it's doing now. Is it over? <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and welcome to the unflippable or flippable car. I don't know exactly what to call it, because it flips and it flips and it flips and it flips. So basically what it does is, it's got a bunch of sensors on it that will detect the ground. So supposedly, if we're about to roll over, it'll get us right back up. Now, just a brief breakdown of this. The wheels will be able to rotate, so they're facing the other way if we are rolled completely over. However, where I did encounter a problem where it would... Oh, there we go. It's actually done it. Where if we were flat on the ground, it would then get stuck. So I added some Shremex or self-writing mechanisms on the roof and along the underbelly of the car. But what that's actually done is allow it to flip a lot. Such that it becomes basically a breakdancing robot. So when you do this, the controls are reversed. In other words, reverse acceleration is actually the forward. However, steering is pretty much the same, provided you're facing the correct direction. So... What I have created is a car that will basically never stop moving unless it gets wedged on something. It'll just keep flipping until it's the right way up. So it's the break dancing. Oh my god. <laughs> um, so how it works is that you can see right here there are three controllers on the back. Oh, right, it's being triggered by the oil tank over there, so we probably need to get away from that. Or it's just going to keep flipping us. So, the three controllers on the back control the Shremex and the rotating wheels. So, the car does like to dance. And in fact, I think if we get it going up a steep enough slope... No? I haven't seen what happens if we actually roll it sideways. I assume the same thing is probably going to happen. Well, there we go. That's a oh, well, that's a full, that's a full. Yep, yeah, there's several full somersaults right there. That's quite an acrobatic vehicle, isn't it? And now we're here on flat ground, so we probably shouldn't be able to do anything too drastic. I think, yeah, we can even turn without any significant problems, anyway. Seems to be going just about, yeah, just fine, really. Now, I think the main problem is that I've got both Shumex going off at the same time, both on the top and bottom. Now, that would normally be an issue, but I don't actually think it's too bad, and I might just keep it that way for this. Because, provided we're pointing in the right direction, this will just keep going. I, there isn't anything that would really stop it. We're now going in reverse. Although I do wonder what happens if we turn the engine up. Now I was going to get out and turn <laughs> to turn the speed on the engine up. And I think I'm going to have to do it from here because when I go near it, it tries to kill me. I think we should be okay now. Yep, it's calmed down. It has calmed down. Okay. So let's turn the speed all the way up and see what happens. Oh my god. I think I've created a vehicle that can somersault endlessly. Yeah, that appears to be what I've actually done. Yep, it's, it's still going. It's just constantly going. But I think I've proven my point, really, with this design. It, uh... It can't be stopped. So while it can roll over, I guess that's kind of the point. Oh god, I don't know what it's doing now. Is it over? I wonder what this looks like from first person. Oh, right, the camera doesn't rotate, does it? Oh, God! This is a mistake! This is a mistake! Help me! Help! 
Apologies to anybody who suffers from motion sickness, but oh my god. Alright, that's quite enough of that. But yeah, just a quick little video because I did put this together just then and I wanted to see if it worked and, well, hey, it actually did. I'm actually genuinely surprised by that. But yeah, this is, um, <laughs> quite the, 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 the wild car. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's just a very quick scrap mechanic video with just, uh, I'm currently working on a couple of other designs at the moment, so that's why you haven't seen any for a couple of days. Um, and so this is just a quick little one to let you know, hey, I'm still doing these. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this game. Um, I'm still having quite a lot of fun with it. And oh my god, this thing. <laughs> Alright, before it kills me, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Panzer. Just with a very quick scrap mechanic video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you want to see more scrap mechanic content and more designs, if you have a design of your own that you'd like me to try out, do let me know down in the comments or comment down below if you have any questions about the game or if there's anything you'd like to see me attempt to make. But if not, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Alright, well that was actually the end of the video, but there was... I do believe I found an angle where it's gotten itself sort of stuck at, and it seems to be either attempting to vigorously mate with the ground, um, or it seems to be in a lot of pain. Oh, the poor thing. It even sounds like it's dying!